Hello, welcome to this event. In this event, I will discuss about the anti-patterns to avoid in Agile ceremonies. This presentation is a synthesis of my experience of Agile transformations that I have been fortunate enough to manage for multiple clients in different industries globally. My name is Dr. Shedam Rajkopalan. I'm an enterprise Agile evangelist at Infratra Corporation, an assistant teaching professor at Northeastern University and a founder of Agile Training Champions. We always discuss waterfall in connection with Agile. Let's first of all review some of the myths surrounding waterfall. Winston Royce is created with creation of waterfall that has a linear sequential steps through which software is built. It starts with planning, analysis, design, implementation, and maintenance. Actually, Winston Royce promoted about 20 different small incremental diagrams through which he started developing the framework for software development. This was the second diagram in about a series of 20 diagrams spread over 15 to 16 pages. We stopped at this second diagram and said, we are going to follow this model. In subsequent diagrams, Winston Royce himself came up with why this will not work and promoted different kinds of approaches. One of his first approach was to actually give bidirectional traceability. In fact, that means every stage gives feedback to the previous stage and we go in cycles. I'm sure some of you can relate to the plan, do, study, act from Demi. Not only did Roy stop here, he came back and said, we need to have bi-directional traceability at two levels above. That means double skip level feedback was included, which means if maintenance didn't work, go to the design. If design didn't work, go to planning. If implementation is failing, go to analysis. These thoughts right away demystify that waterfall only existed in people's mind. So practice created a non-existent theory and blamed theory for why projects failed. Based upon my experience, if waterfall never worked and we embraced agile, we need to also know the practices that led to waterfall failure. If these practices continued with Agile implementation, then Agile will fail too. So did Agile fail or we fail? Let's take a look at some of these thought processes. When you look at the reasons why many different studies exist that talk about Agile failure, is its lack of executive vision, the lack of self-organization in teams called team fragility, the lack of processes correctly being present and too many processes being present, technical myopia where the design team and the delivery team do not come up with the appropriate technical infrastructure or information architecture to design the projects correctly. And the way these things manifest is Iterations is too long. As a result, we move forward with Sprint in Scrum. So that means we neither understand Agile nor Scrum. We do daily stand-up. Therefore, our sprints should be delivering value. But we don't see any value coming out of the daily stand-up themselves. So is daily stand-up alone going to be a prescription for following Agile? Every STLC stage is done in one sprint. That means we have planning sprint, we have analysis sprint, we have design sprint. Is that agile? Working software is oftentimes connected with a number of JIRA tickets open. And technically it is exactly that, you know, number of tickets that is open in a particular tool. We choose the wrong technology. As a result, we did not follow agile correctly. So these are some of the patterns that emerge. Now, if you understand these reasons, Agile never works is on the one end of the spectrum and the other end of the spectrum is everything is Agile. So what is going on? If you look at the deep 
roots behind each and every one of those failure patterns that we have seen. You can see a few patterns emerge. At the top, you will see task-oriented and overburdened teams. Tasks are created by the agile team themselves or not created by the scrum master or product owner. And they commit too much than what they can actually commit to, which means they don't respect the boundaries of time boxing. Failure to build team consensus. Agile is all about working agreements and team level commitments. So it's not one person's ability to do something. It's everybody's collective ability to do certain things. That's the reason why we play planning poker to actually create a centralized commitment for the stories that we commit. Neglect of technical excellence. The team members are supposed to come and add technical stories and process value stories so that the commercial customer value and business value stories are being actually supported. The product owner or scrum master are not responsible for this. This is the self-organized team's responsibility. Agile therefore practices with thought principles. Things like we follow stand up, we do part of iteration planning and we are scrum master certified. So we should be following agile. So these things are all really not working out. And we move from one framework to another framework thinking that somehow something will work. And deeper beneath this, there are more problems. If you look at that inconsistent and siloed adoption, the scrum master is supposed to be called an agile coach primarily because that person is responsible for bringing agility and uh, agility principles throughout the organization, not just in one team. So when team members do not adopt Agile correctly, then teams do not adopt within the organization. So inconsistent and siloed adoption makes it difficult for Agile to succeed. Weak product strategy. The product owner should have a product roadmap which is getting broken into releases and then into iterations. We start working on iteration directly without connecting with the release goals of what the minimum viable product is and what is the organizational product strategy alignment specific to measurable organizational value. Conditioning of the culture. Culture is what we create. It's not always what we actually consume. It is also what we create. But how are we conditioning the culture that we would like to see in the organization? Like Gandhi said, are you being the change agent for the change that you want to see in the organization? Lack of executive commitment. Now, talking to the different executives, bringing all the leadership aligned to see how agility is promoting value is extremely important. And when that is not done because of all the other reasons, we see that executives are not committed. And we oftentimes go back and say it's a leadership failure, but we fail to lead. So I have seen four important zones of challenges. That is strategy fail. We don't know what problem we are solving and we don't even know why that is a problem. Second, planning fails. As we always say, planning is essential, although plans are not. So we need to organize ourselves for delivery. The next one is about team failure, which is about how the working agreements are not centralized and delivered on. So the definition of done the definition of conforming, all those things needs to come in progress. So if the team uses a tool, the tool has to provide that level of information. Process failure, how do we ensure that we are con consistently learning continuously? When you take a look at all these important challenges, one important challenge comes up even more. That is, not necessarily knowing who our customer is. Then how can we create the appropriate persona? And how can we create the appropriate user stories for that persona? I would like to present in this particular session for each of the zone that I discussed, three major failure patterns. Collectively, there are four 12 major failure patterns. I will discuss the overall impact of these failure patterns within every zone. Then for every one of those zones, I will discuss some antidotes 
or solutions that can help solve these challenges. Finally, in my absence, my organizing team will present my thoughts. I would like to thank them for presenting my findings from this presentation. If there are any further questions, please reach out to me. Thank you very much.